Hello and welcome to this edition of Group Talk, where you'll be learning about five key productivity gains from CRM from David Torbett, a territory manager here at GBS. Without further ado, here is David. But I'd like to welcome everybody today to our ongoing uh, webinar series on productivity. Um, it is Productivity Month here at GBS, and today, as Don mentioned, we're focusing on the five key productivity gains from CRM. Uh, my name is David Torbett, and as Don mentioned, I'm a territory manager here at GBS. So I've been um, uh, working to, I guess, engage customers to provide CRM solutions um, in the Lotus Note space for uh, just over 10 years here. Um, and today, um, we're going to focus on, again, some key productivity gains from CRM. Um, and then, oops. Sorry, guys, I'm having a little trouble with my slide deck here. There we go. So I'm just going to introduce you to a few, I think, what, what we consider five of the key um, you know, CRM productivity traps, and then talk about how the GBS sales place system is really designed to help organizations to deliver um, the CRM value to the organization while overcoming a lot of these productivity traps. And, and specifically, we'll be talking about, um, uh, I guess, driving kind of performance with centralized uh, information, um, realizing much more efficient collaboration through a, a seamless integration with uh, the IBM messaging platform, um, improving a lot of the quality of the sales and service uh, delivery through um, uh, actionable automation. Um, helping uh, customers to deliver on that need for business intelligence through some best of breed reporting and also making sure that organizations are able to deliver you know true customer responsiveness by having that accessibility and mobility in the CRM product so just a quick um, you know overview of of what we're talking about here at GBS when we're talking about CRM so you know one very broad definition of CRM would be that CRM encompasses the, the business processes uh, that an enterprise performs to identify, select, acquire, uh, develop, and retain its customers through multiple communication channels. And you know, in our organization, what that focuses on is three key areas of the front end of your of, of, of a business. So um, all of the business processes around the contact management, um, all the business uh, processes around uh, the sales force automation right from the marketing team through to the sales team through to the account management team. And all we see what's really important if we're going to encompass all of the business processes is also incorporating a service um, teams into the same system that the that the sales force and, and all the administration out of business is using. So when we're delivering these types of features to organizations um, in a CRM package, what we look at is the typical customer needs across the organization. So, you know, if we look at how executives at an organization, the type of benefits that they're looking for when they implement a CRM, um, you know, obviously first and foremost they want to improve the bottom line, right? And they need reports and forecasts to understand their bottom line and deliver on that, and they need strong sales and service delivery, and that's going to enable them to, uh, you know, whether it be increased revenue and understand that we have the delivery to do that, um, have a strong delivery to create an advantage at that organization compared to their competitors. Um, you know, with the reports and forecasts, they're able to obviously reduce a lot of the risks. And, and at the end of the day, they're looking to decrease costs while increasing that revenue. So they're going to improve that bottom line. Now, just obviously, on, on a side note, obviously from the IT perspective, they obviously want to provide that um, you know, to the executives who really is their customer, uh, but they need to do that by being flexible within the existing environment, um, make sure it's easy to implement and integrate, um, and then all the data, specifically customer data, is very secure. And so the IT wants to provide it from that perspective, and out in the field, delivering the reporting to the executives is the line of business, um, whether that be your sales department, the marketing department or the service department. Um, 
And the managers there, they need reports and analytics, um, and they want to systemize the best practices so that they can work to decrease costs and increase revenue um, that, that the executive is asking for. And the frontline employees are quite simply in this model really just looking to be provided with the tools to achieve their task competently and to reduce any additional administrative burdens that the executives or managers might be forced in many cases without CRM to place on them in order to um, deliver on their needs. Knowing those are the typical customer needs when we're into implementing a CRM, what we want to look at today is five of the very typical productivity traps that we find organizations fall into when they're trying to provide um, all those benefits through systems um, that we can solve um, with the GBS CRM. So one of the first and foremost um, productivity traps that, that customers fall into is not having an actual single centralized system. And what that means is that, you know, what the executives trying to deliver and the uh, line of business people looking to systemize processes, if everybody has to look in too many places for information, whether that be to enter information, you know, report on information, um, or just go about their daily tasks, it all has to be in one single place to reduce that administrative version on everything. So the first thing we want to do is obviously bring everything together in a centralized way. The second thing is we want to avoid um, the users who are really putting most of the raw data into the CRM system because they're interacting with the customers on a daily basis. We want to make sure they're not in a situation where they need to do duplicate entry. All right. And in today's day and age, we all spend an awful lot of time um, in a mail and calendar system and also in a, in a, in a same time type system. And in general, we want to make sure that the CRM isn't just loosely integrated um, with that mail and calendar, or we will find that people are, are uh, coming across duplicate entry scenarios. The third productivity trap is that we want to avoid too much administrative burden on um, the users having to go find the information. So we want to make sure that there can be notifications, alerts, and automation, but not only that that exists, but that it's easily actionable. Okay, oftentimes a lot of information is delivered from the CRM to the users, but it's not actionable. The fourth um, you know, productivity trap that we find around CRM is that reporting becomes a task and it's not an action. So in, in what this means is that reports are not readily available in the CRM, um, nor is the data in sync. Um, so we look at reports where you know people are using uh, spreadsheets or uh, there's data warehousing being fed in from a number of different systems and the data becomes out of date. Um, you know executives in line of business people have to go to multiple areas to find um, the data and bring it together to make a report that's going to make sense to help them with business decisions and to manage the people underneath them. And the fifth productivity trap that we're going to look at today is accessibility. And you know, as we all know, we're especially from a sales and service department, those teams tend to be on the road out doing face-to-face -face things with their customers. And you know, wireless and, and a lot of that type of technology has made some great strides in the last year, but we still find with truly distributed organizations that there still is a huge demand for offline accessibility even on mobile devices. So what the Salesplace CRM um, is all about is helping sales, marketing, and service professionals to sell more, sell faster, and service more effectively with highly intuitive, functional, and mobile software based on the IBM Lotus and XPages platform and BlackBerry. And what we're going to focus on today and show you in our system is how we address some of those five key productivity traps in CRM. So we bring together a single modern inter interface. Everybody has one place to go for all of the information about the interactions of an entire organization with the customer. Right? We provide a seamless integration with the Lotus Notes mail and calendaring system so that as users go about their daily jobs and their mail and calendaring, 
they are automatically updating all of that repository of information in that central system and there's no duplicate entry. Thirdly, the system itself is integrated with the notes client and all the automation is integrated with the notes mail and calendar and messaging information. We're going to make sure that we can deliver the information that people need when they need it into that notes mail and calendaring system and make sure that's actionable so they can drill down through that information directly into the CRM and action on all that items to create much more streamlined processes. Fourth, we have a unique uh, best of breed notes reporting tools available right within the CRM system that report on live data and have all of the uh, conveniences of uh, visualization and analysis um, that executives and line of business want so they can see the information with the click of a button. And lastly, we want to make sure that we can provide mobility for both the notes and the BlackBerry users in an offline fashion for SalesPlace CRM. So uh, what we'll do firstly is talk about how GBS SalesPlace works to centralize um, information. Uh, if we look at CRMs in general, um, you know, a typical customer view is that there's a number of ways that your organization is going to be interacting with customers. Uh, you know, via the web and email, obviously, uh, phone calls that come in, you know, maybe different outlets or, or offices uh, might be dealing with the customer. You've got your field sales and maybe field service teams out on the road. Um, and obviously, you have a lot of different partnerships. Um, you know, no, no companies in Ireland these days, and they're obviously interacting with your customer as well. So what we want to make sure is that all of this information is captured in one single customer information center so that we can all see everything that's going on with the customer. Now, some of the things that get in the way is that SalesPlace actually can provide a front end for multiple systems. Okay, so some of this customer information ends up in, in back-end accounting systems. Some of this information ends up in, you know, a service system. Uh, some of it ends up in a sales system. We want to bring all those systems together so that it becomes a front end for multiple systems. And this is a, a big way that GBS SalesPlace helps organizations that already leverage note systems in other areas of the business to bring it all together quite easily on that native platform and leverage that infrastructure. The other thing is that because GBS SalesPlace exists alongside the notes, mail, calendar and collaboration tools, right, we're capturing all of that interaction automatically in the system. Um, and why does, I guess, SalesPlace, you know, leveraging the note side of things, what makes it different than a typical note system is that it's not a bunch of separate databases that users don't understand how to click in that kind of confusing workspace. You know, it doesn't have that, you know, the users complain about, ah, oh, there's this big navigation thing down the left-hand side, and I don't understand how to do that, and it takes up so much space that i got to scroll all over the place to see the information, and i got to, all these views have all the database and all these different silos. So these are the, when uh, an end user just needs to go into a central system and get information, they need a modern application where we kind of have a low screen impact around the navigation, and the information appears to the user, whatever's happening in the back end, as being from a single system. And with a single click of a button, they're able to access all of that information across you know, all areas of the business. So if we want to, if we have a look um, at the SalesPlace application itself here, um, you know, you can see obviously that uh, you know, SalesPlace resides right inside the notes client which is a very familiar place for um, users to work in. Um, they have a workspace that they can um, define um, and bring in some of the, the common used features so they can bring up that central contact repository and their...